Hello and welcome back to our channel. So today let's discuss about repair management in Odo Fortin Manufacturing. So Odo ERP provides repair module that can be integrated with manufacturing and inventory modules. So this module helps to address the uh, damage that is tear and wear of products due to long term storage in inventory. So it provides repair services to pro pro products with a warranty. So we can replace a product or we can repair a product that is uh, damaged. It can be partially damaged or fully damaged. So this repairing service can be provided not only to customers but also to manufacturers. So that's why this repair option is can be seen in our manufacturing module. So using this module, we can collect information on the damaged product. And it also supports tracking of product at all stages of repair. So first of all, from App Store, we have to install the repair module. And then uh, here, when you search for repair, uh, when you enter repair, here we can see. So this is our repair orders, created repair orders. And this is our uh, list view so this one is default view I will be for repair orders and we, we can also see the repair orders in Kanban view and then graph view and pivot view so here we can see few information related to repair orders like repair reference product to repair customer for which the repair orders created then delivery address warranty expiration so company name and we can see the status of the repair orders, whether it is repaired or whether it is still remaining in status that is quotation. So from here, we can directly create a repair order. So when you click on this repair order, here we can provide a repair reference, then product to repair. So suppose I'm setting product as wood panel, then you can see the, we can set the product quantity, number of quantities to be repaired. Then we can set a customer. If the repairing is done for customer, then we can set delivery address, responsible person, then location. So this is a location where the product to be repaired is stored, that is, is located. Then we can set the, see the company name, then warranty expiration. We can set a warranty expiration. Suppose I'm setting it as February 28th as a warranty expiration date and we can set invoicing method. So we can set as no invoice need to be created or we can set invoicing method before repair or after repair. So I don't want to create any uh, invoice, invoice for this repairing order. Then I can provide tags here. Then here I can add the parts. So I want to remove a part. Okay, suppose I'm changing my sorry. Suppose I'm changing it to table top okay then as we have given tracking for this product we have to provide a lot or serial number here then here i can add parts so i want to remove Then here we can provide a lot of serial number, source location, uh, destination location. So it is virtual location, production location, and we can set the quantity, then unit price, taxes. Okay, after that we can save it. So repair order is created. Now we can confirm the repair order. Just click on confirm. You can see. 
then here from here we can confirm order and then we can start repair and we can cancel repair so we can just click on start repair so repairing is done and we can if it is done we can end repair okay so we can see a new repairing order added here and the status you can see it is repair and we can also see the different views from here okay then we can filter this repair orders based on quotations confirmed ready to in re repair invoiced and based on date and we can also group them according to customer product status warranty expiration company and all and we can also configure repair order tags so you can see already a uh, tag is created and can also create new tags so that's how we manage repair orders in Buda 40 manufacturing if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any order implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to order at cyprocess.com.